Hello from Soft System. Today we are going to show a wonderful product such as Soft System 3.5 inch 4 by NAS enclosure. This is our own brand. It is a complete uh, NAS system. If you just open the door, it you can put four hard disk. So if you see here, so this is a tray track. So you can easily put the hard drive in the tray track. And it has four hard drive. You can put four hard drive inside. And if you see back side, it's a complete system. It has four LAN port, that is 2.5 gig port. Also one optional card, but we are giving, giving this storage with a 10 gig card option. Okay, so I will show that a real test how the product is working. So I just keep this device here. Okay, so this is the real product. Okay, if you see here, I configured three hard disk. Okay, and if you come to the back side, okay, so it has four LAN port so and one 10 gig port okay so what we do it we connected this one network in the laptop as a one gig connection and second card connected in my system that is 10 gig connection the 10 gig card inside if you see here this is 10 gb card so we put 10 gb card here we put 10 gb card here for fast access okay so what to do uh, i will just uh, show the interface of that uh, nas our nas storage so this is the interface so if you see here we configured as raid 5 so this is 3 drive 1 2 3 also if you see here this is 3 drive 1 2 3 so we configured in the raid 5 mode that means any one hard disk if fail okay you are getting the backup so any any hard disk if you put four hard disk any hard disk is fail any one hard disk your backup your data is backed up so that's why we configured as a raid 5 and what we did we created a share folder so the share folder is name called media data so that is a share folder so that share folder we can see it in our system i just show the browser here we see here so this is the browser if i go to the network okay then it's my nas storage media edit if you open this is the data media data if you see here inside the media data we have the shared file here so uh, then if you see here my uh, share folder also media data and the browser we are accessing also media data so both are accessing the same so media data and media data so we are having the share folder so that share folder i mapped as a local drive so this is the drive okay so what we are going to do uh, we just uh, check the speed test uh, how the throughput read and write everything so what i go to do so this is that uh, network because uh, we see the performance how the network is working also we are going to test the speed so I just simply click here if you see here uh, it's a 4k resolution and 4k codec and the drive we are checking media data that is our shared drive so I'm just testing the drive here see this is the write speed we are getting and this is the read speed because it's connected as a 10 gig and if you see here it's a 10 GB port and if you see here sending 4.2 GB and 1.2 GB push and pulling so we have a fast test here so it's clear 100 percent so the three drive is working here if you see here there's a three drive three drive working at the same time because it's a group the three artists like is a one group so the write speed and read speed we are getting better and the connection is 10 gb so why 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 this 10 gb we need it because of uh, uh, rock clip so who is working rock clip or a dng format or a high throughput uh, video video clips they can use 10g also the data copy so what i'm going to do I just stop the speed here so then i just see this is one of the folder i is in my desktop if you see here this is 28 gb folder what i'm going to do we take that file copy to my shared drive so i just come here so this is our shared drive okay so okay so this is the drive in the local so the property 28 gb so we just copy the data we simply drag and drop here in our share folder it's copying if you see here the speed whoa see the speed of throughput we are almost reaching 200 mbps and it around below two minutes is copying the 28 gb data while copying i will explain the workflow of the storage how it's working okay so this is the basic idea how the group of editor work in the nas storage so this is basically as four LAN port and it will cross platform either work with mac 
also Windows, uh, both platform will work. Even Final Cut Pro, even DaVinci Resolve, Premiere, EDS, uh, a, a, any cross-platform editing system, editing software can access the storage. So we added a 110 GB card, as I said before, because of fast editing and fast data transfer. And other people can work with uh, 200 MBBS if you're using 2.5 gig. Okay, so and this is a network card. What network card you want, you can use. Okay, and here I'm showing that uh, parts here. So this is that hard drive. So we use 2 TB drive inside the system because this is a NAS drive. This is not a normal desktop drive. Desktop drive you can use, but this is a particular designed for NAS drive because it's 6 GB data and 72 K RPM speed. So it will give this good read and write performance. Okay, also not only that, you can put SSD. So the same tray, it support uh, uh, 3.5 inch hard disk also and SSD hard disk also, both you can use. But uh, from the storage, if you're buying, we are also giving this hard disk because uh, we especially ordered this specific hard disk because of high throughput if you want. Otherwise, you can use your own hard disk also. And here, the connectivity. And this is the card. So this card, you can install in the client system, that means editing system, Premiere, EDS. And this is also editing system because some laptop, there is no LAN port. You can use this adapter. Uh, USB 2 LAN adapter 2.5 gig and a 10 gig card and 2.5 gig card both available in a laptop style also desktop style. So we are also offering this uh, kind of adapter connectivity. So uh, then if you see here while we are talking almost is reaching the data. So 85% is copying. So almost we are reaching in below 2 minutes we are copying the 28 GB data as, as much faster using the 10 gig connection. So it's, it's a 10 GB connection. If you see here, so this is a network Ethernet interface of my system. Inside the card is there, and this is the graph we are looking here. So we can see the benchmark here. So if you see the benchmark here, so you're almost getting 2 GB. See, the data is copied here, also finish. So if you see here, uh, this is the data we copied, property, 28 GB in the drive. And what we copied in our share folder, see media, media data, I right click here, Okay, property, so 28 GB. So the all file is copied here. Okay, so then we make sure our product is working 100% because we are copying a 28 GB data below two minutes. Okay, so what I do, I will show the project, how the sharing both editors share the project. So uh, I hope you understand the workflow. So now we go into the two system how is working. So then if you go here, this is the premiere. Okay, and I switch to that, uh, EDS system here. Okay, this is the EDS. Okay, I will show the EDS system here. Okay, then if okay, this is the way I have to uh, I have to mention one more thing. The same folder we are accessing here. If you come here, network. Okay, then click network. Then media edit. Then the same folder media data. That means both working same file. So I will show here also, okay, see, both working, same files. Here also looking media data, same file. In the laptop system also using media data, same file. So both accessing the same NAS server, both editor is accessing. So now I will just show the project here. So we created a multicam, that means four cam clip here also. Also we created a project here, four cam clip. So this this and this that means premiere and EDS both are accessing the same file at same time so I'm just playing the video here okay so I just make it full screen so four clip is playing here also I'm playing here also I'm making full screen okay so for clear understand premiere system and EDS system okay both are taking that file from the central storage both editing system accessing at same time so premiere four clip we are working eds four clip we are working so that means both are playing very smooth so there is no buffer there is no frame drop if you see the timing here if you see the time here the playback is smooth there is no lag in the timing so that means our playback is smooth also here the playback is smooth here so both playing very perfect i will show we are accessing the same file here so if you if you see here okay so i will just show that we are seeing the same file here see this is the clip okay this clip 
we make sure we are taking in the right path. So right click, property, okay, and file. So if you click file, see the location is media, edit media data. That means the file coming from our storage. So we make sure it's playing from our storage. Okay, also same time, if you just uh, click home uh, playing file. So the clip are playing from storage. Here also I'll show here. Okay. Here also I am showing the same file. Okay, here see here media edit. So here the path media edit media data. So both are accessing the same folder path. So I hope uh, you understand how the concept is working here. So also I hope you understand the concept how this. So both system working at same time. Okay, using the same storage. Uh, as, a, as a share it's like a team so you can have a three people four people or one working with audio one working with color one working with a reception one working with the wedding so you can split the job so the both people can split the job as a teamwork then this storage can help all of the editor group allow work at the same time okay so i uh, understand you, you like the product you understand the concept of a nas storage okay so uh, so if you need uh, more information about that uh, project workflow how the setup and everything i'll give you my contact information kindly call me thank you